Okay, uh, an update um, on our com problems. So we were having an issue where the VCU would somehow lose communication with the inverter and we'd get a com error and the whole thing would just stop until we um, turn the power off the VCU and reset it and then it would start up again and as we push the pedal it would come back on. It, it looked like it had something to do with EMI because like as we push the pedal and you hear the, the whine, the high frequency whine of the inverter, you would see this issue start to happen. And then separate from that, we've always had a problem with our little display device down here resetting occasionally. I might be able to get it to do it right now. Like, I'll just keep, there it goes. So when we get that, that inverter frequency up, this thing would reset. It was doing that before, but the VCU resetting with the comm error and the flashing uh, green LED, that was new. So um, I thought maybe the two were related, but now I'm starting to think that they're not. This old problem, this is, an, I'm pretty sure, well, we'll talk about this in a second. One thing we noticed, I, I got my oscilloscope out. I wanted to start looking at some voltages on the CAN bus and see what was going on as we push the motor. And sure enough, when you push the motor, there's a lot of noise on the CAN bus, but it appears, it, 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 I'm thinking it should be able to handle that. One thing we noticed, though, is we have this thing, because I've been trying to troubleshoot why it keeps resetting, instead of powering it off of a 12-volt um, to 5-volt regulator here, I was trying to power it over the USB to a Raspberry Pi, and... I thought for a while it was resetting less, that maybe it had something to do with that. Um, so this is where the wrinkle gets interesting. So this little piece here was being powered off a USB on a Raspberry Pi over there that's on obviously completely separate from the 12 volt power that's running here. So that's how it was set up. This cable to the VCU, the serial cable to the Thunderstruck VCU to... to we noticed that even with the Raspberry Pi like unplugged, like it's not even plugged into power, I could plug in this cable to the VCU and I noticed that the light on the USB hub going to the Raspberry Pi would come on. Let me show you that. If I plug this into here, and you come look at this over here, you'll see that the light is on. Which means this cable from the VCU is backfeeding power um, into this hub, okay? And then previously, that USB cable power on my little display was going into the Raspberry Pi. So it's lighting up this USB bus. And I think there was some kind of conflict there, some sort of ground loop or problem. Because I think since I've unplugged this and and not backfeeding power into that USB um, hub anymore, you'll see the light goes off. I haven't been able to get the VCU com to light up to, to lock up anymore, so I can I can keep sort of commanding the motor and stuff, and it hasn't done that anymore. So I think that com problem was probably related to that. Now, why this thing keeps resetting? Um, I started troubleshooting that separate and what I did is I looked at the output of this 5 volt regulator and just put it in one shot mode and when I hit the pedal you can see I get peak to peak voltage of 20 volts this huge noise spike now some noise spikes are are common but that means that there's a bunch of EMI presumably or, or something happening when I command the inverter that's affecting this is, you know, the 5 volts coming out of our 12 volt system. Now, our 12 volt system is supposed to be being generated by this guy, right? So this is supposed to be an isolated 12 volts that's feeding all of the contactors and the VCU and the inverter and everything else. And when I look at the output of it, sure enough, whenever I hit the pedal, there's some noise there. Not, not 20 volts peak to peak worth, but it's noisy. And I'm guessing that's propagating down into this cheap... Uh, you know, five volt regulator. 
Um, so for now, I'm going to treat I'm going to treat the uh, the power issues on this thing separate. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop powering it over USB because I think when this thing is hooked up, there there may be some issues with power getting looped around. So anyway, I know that's a long-winded explanation, but so far I I have not been able to get the VCU to lock up anymore with this um, USB serial cable to the VCU unplugged. So we will keep messing with that.